It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Now I understand this beer had a little soft launch in the UK over the last two years, but make no mistake about it, this beer is everywhere at the moment. As of April 2022, I've gone to my local boozer, they got the brand new Madri taps on. I've gone to the supermarkets, Morrison's have got like a 12 pack, Tesco's are selling bombers, I'm pretty sure uh, Sainsbury's and, and the rest of the supermarkets, Waitrose and the rest of it is selling it as well. It's, it's, it's made by Molson Coors, but this is Madri Exceptional Lager from Madrid. It's 4.6% ABV. I like the little touch there. The fact that he's got this kind of check cap on and check jacket and then the cap of the bottle is that kind of same check top. I thought that's quite a nice little kind of touch there. Now for me, on a, on a personal level, this is Molson Coors answer to, well, it's got to be the uh, beer of Moretti, haven't it? This is Molson Coors' answer, Spanish version of kind of beer of Moretti from Italy. Without further ado then, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. I've never tried it before. I don't really know anything about it. We'll have a look at the back of the bottle to see if there's any kind of history with the beer, if it's been around for a long time in Spain. And here we go. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. No surprise there. Beer in the glass. I'm using my Budweiser Budvar glass. Looks very well behaved, doesn't it, for a beer, for a lager. Uh, nice, slow moving, equal carbonation, rising up the glass. It's a light, very light amber coloured beer, two finger, fluffy white head. Looks very chuggable, very. We're heading into the summer months now. Um, it, it's late April here in the UK, late April 2022, reviewing this beer. So we're about to go into May, June, July, August. I imagine that they, they chose this very month to really push this beer. Because it really is a beer for the summertime, isn't it? 4.6% ABV, serve it cold lager. Uh, there's no sediment in here at the moment. I don't think there's going to be any sediment going forward. Although there is micro... These little bits and pieces floating around in that glass. Let's get the aroma. Whenever I use this Pilsner Urquell glass, it takes me back to Brew London. Drinking, uh, it's not even Pilsner Urquell. It, it, it's um, Budweiser Budvar, should I say. It, it reminds me of drinking the Budvar, Budweiser Budvar. It just it smells okay, actually, the beer. Light, a little bit peppery, a little bit spicy, a little bit hoppy. Yeah, this is Molson Coors reacting to an ever-changing beer world. Cheers. My goodness me, it's so smashable, so smashable, incredibly drinkable. They probably worked on this recipe for years to kind of refine this, get it like this. It's a bit, you can hear me, it's a bit kind of, the carbonation's a bit, kind of sink it down and it kind of wants to come straight back up but you get that with a lot of these mainstream lagers that kind of repeat burping if you like i 
I mean, give me a sunny beer garden. Give me a sunny beer garden. Give me a pint of this. It's not for your craft beer connoisseur. It's definitely not for your craft beer connoisseur. This is, this is definitely for your kind of your more mainstream lager drinker. But I think this there's a few things going on here with this beer. There's a few things going on. Um, they're reacting to Bira Moretti taking an ever bigger slice of the UK beer market, lager market. They're also reacting, I think, to people finding out that their their once mainstream brand, Carling, people have worked it out. People have worked out that it's it it's not a great beer anymore. They've kind of rinsed it to rinsed it to death a bit, haven't they, Carlin? They they originally Carlin was about four point five percent ABV. Then they reduced it to four point two. Then they took it to four percent. And then there was talk of they were brewing it at 3.8% ABV and trying to sell it for 4% ABV. And people weren't having it. At that point, when that news story came out, they completely wrecked that brand. If you talk to anybody now, really, even mainstream drinkers, if, if, mainstream lager drinkers, if you talk to them about Carlin, it's not really a beer that they want to be seen holding anymore. It's... It's been rinsed to death. Um, Stella Artois went down that sort of kind of same route. Stella Artois, they, 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 they've stopped and they kind of, they've tried to reverse. They've tried to reverse back to a higher ABV by calling it um, Stella Artois unfiltered. They've taken it back to 5% ABV. So they're trying things over there at Stella. Um, but even even San Miguel, people realise that San Miguel went from 5.4% to 5% ABV. And they've now reversed trend. Um, I've got a couple of cans of San Miguel, a special in there now. That's back to 5.4% ABV. So people are not prepared anymore to take that kind of over the years drop in the ABV down to minuscule amounts. Just because these big beer companies think that people are really kind of associated with a brand, a certain type of beer. So this is what's going on here. I think that they've ruined Carlin, Molson Coors. They've had to come out with something else. And this is it. 4.6% ABV premium lager. So a few things going on. I think your mainstream lager drinker will be buying this and loving this. It's easy drinking. It's nicely carbonated. It's exceptionally drinkable. It's very refreshing. There's slightly kind of peppery, spicy, hoppy notes on the back end. It's slightly sweet and slightly biscuity and malty. Probably There's probably a little bit of corn in there. I don't think it's an all malt lager, to be perfectly honest with you. I might be wrong. I've not looked at the back of the bottle yet but they've they've managed to kind of pull it off they've managed to, what they've probably done is gone through their kind of their recipe books over there they've probably gone to the original what what carlin was at 4.5 4.6 percent abv and they've gone Do you know what we'll, we'll we'll brew original carlin and we'll call it blooming madry exceptional because I, I speak to the old, I speak to my dad and my grandfather, and they say Carlin Black Label, when it was 4.5% ABV, was a pretty decent beer. Slightly lemony, lemony. Yeah, beer garden beer. Good, good beer garden beer. I could probably drink about three of these. Probably drink about three of these. It's not bad at all. Um, let's have a look. Well, there we are. There's, there's no ingredients on the back of the bottle. There doesn't have to be. In UK law, when it comes to alcohol, you don't have to put down what you're putting in your bottle of beer. Please, someone bring me a German purity law. Or maybe not as far as that, but please put your ingredients on the back of the bottle. Uh, brewed and packaged in the UK, uh, Molson Coors Brewing Company. So it's brewed in the UK. Um, uh, La Sagra Brew contains barley and wheat. 
what, what I'm finding interesting about this is there's no one more thing before I go. Like, like you've got your beer and Moretti, there's probably a date there, there's probably a year, like 1876 or something, or, you know, it, it's had time to kind of really slowly kind of grow into the beer market and sell everywhere. This seems very new. This doesn't seem like it's from like 1800 or something. It's a little, it, it's almost slightly kind of hipsterish. The label, it, it, in, in terms of kind of what it's looking like there, what that gentleman's looking like there. Um, let's rate it. I'm a little bit disappointed that there's no ingredients on the back of the bottle. I'm pretty sure there's something, it's not 100% all malt lager. It's tasting a bit corny. It's tasting a bit, maybe rice. It's not 100% all malt lager, which would be, which is a shame really, because I think it would benefit from, it would benefit being 100% all malt lager with the word exceptional written on the front of the label look. Rated, looks good, smells good. Tastes like a mainstream lager. It's okay, it's okay. Craft beer drinkers, look away now. This is good enough for an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Would I drink it again? Do you know if I went to my local pub, I got a pub called the Cherry Orchard up the road for me. The wife said she'd drive. They had something like Pedigree or Banks Bitter on. Being a Marston's pub, I'd probably have a pint of this, to be honest with you. It's not bad, it's drinkable, it's refreshing. It does the job, it does the job. Um, thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.